Good morning, interwebs. It's 11 after 7 this morning, and my lighting is terrible because the sun is still working its way up. I am in Palmer, where I'm supposed to have my show today, and I got a lady pulled up behind me who had followed me most of the way down the highway, and she was like, I'm not following you, or maybe I am. Are you supposed to be going to the craft show? I'm like, yeah. Are you? Um... So, the organizer told her that he'd be here by 7. He told me 7.15, and none of us know exactly where we're going. So, we'll figure it out. So, it's about 6. I had a good day at the craft show. Um, I packed up and left Palmer. I was driving out of town at 1.30. So, let's see. I basically spent like seven hours. Between seven and eight hours of my day driving there and doing everything. And that was good. It was fun. I sold a bunch of stuff. Apparently Palmer's like my demographic. <laughs> Um, people there have done well, which is especially exciting because I thought the show was kind of going to be a bust. Um, and the event was small in scale, but it had a decent amount of attendance. Certainly more than they were expecting because I guess their cafe was like crazy packed and they were running out of everything and they were just not prepared for people to come. But Steve and I were talking and actually, you know, because they weren't expecting people because it was the first year. But a lot of the events around here, people come the first year, and then they might come the second year, because, oh, a lot of people went, and it was a good thing. But then by, like, year maybe four or five, you kind of start to drop off, because people are either like, well, I've already been, or it quits having buzz. Um, and if you can kind of stay relevant past that point, then you might become a regular standard, you know? And then there's events that have been going on for, like, 50-plus years around here. Which is kind of crazy. But anyways, I have, I came home and I was like crazy hungry because I didn't eat all day. So maybe I saw some scrambled eggs and they were delicious. I put a little cottage cheese in them, which is my trick sometimes to make eggs like all creamy. And it adds a little bit more protein and a little dairy in a quick and simple way. And I got to make them in my tiny cast iron skillet, which I hardly ever use. And I always think, why? Why do I even own this? Because it's perfect to make eggs for one person. Do you know how frequently I make eggs for one person? This might be the only time all year. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it one more time, but I hardly ever make eggs for one person. I'm always making them for at least two, if not all of us. So the kids are outside playing. They apparently found some like berries or something they've been playing with all day. And so I was warned that their hands were purple. But they know the rules because I guess the berries are like, they can't eat them. They're not that kind. Of, they're not edible. But um, they've been warned of the rules and they understand them. They are just painting themselves and things, things that have all been approved um, with them. Because there's like some old wood and stuff out there. So they are kind of taking care of themselves. And I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what to do. I'm feeling like very spinny. I'm not in a bad mood, which is good. And I'm fairly calm. Actually, all day, I was very calm at the show and in a good mood. I was freezing. It was really cold. Um, and mostly it was extra cold because I wasn't prepared for how cold it actually was. And I was in the shade. So the um, the setup I showed you was my original setup. And then the overhang, which I forget if the video clip shows or not. The sun started hitting that roof. And all of a sudden, it starts raining off the edge of the building basically. And it kind of just kept coming. At first I was like, oh, it's just a few drips. Then it starts like straight up raining off the building because of all the condensation that was up there from the night it was starting to like melt. So I took the, um, the table with the crates on it and I moved it to the left hand side of the other table. And then I moved my chair further down. So that worked out good. Um, it wasn't the way I envisioned it originally, and it did make it a little harder to see, but people were really good about coming, like, all the way down the alley. It helped that, um, some of the organizers of the group were at the end of the aisle, so people actually, like, worked their way down because they knew who they were there to see, 
and that benefited me because I meant people walked by me, even though they weren't there to see me. And again, I got a lot of people that were like, hey, I remember you. Oh, and I had one boy who, extra cool, he was like 10, came by and he's like, oh, I want the bird, I want the bird. And so I was like, isn't that the same bird you were looking at at Labor Day? And he's like, uh-huh. And so he, finally, mom's just like, how much do you have? And he, I don't know if he had enough, but anyway, she made sure he got it. And that was cool. And then like his little friend came by later and his friend bought a bird and an octopus. He spent the majority of like his free spending money at my booth, which I'm always kind of torn because I'm like, oh, I feel bad. But you know, there are a whole lot worse things that those kids could be spending money on. And, um, I don't know. I'm glad that they're spending it on something that's not going to just disappear right away, right? So that was good. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do. Like I said, clearly I am not very good at focusing right now. Um, I know there's some things I need to make to refill my booth because I sold some things and there were some things that people were interested in getting, but I was, I had already sold them. Like they came and saw them, didn't buy them. Well, you snooze, you lose. And they left and they, um, are so interested in them. So some people are probably going to email me and set some orders up and or see me at the next craft show. So I now know there's a few things I need to make extras of. Um, but I don't know. They're just not what is enticing me to make them right now. And I'm kind of trying to watch YouTube, but I'm like not really focused. But I'm also not like focused enough to do anything productive. I really just want to sit and sit in a comfortable spot because... The chair I sat in today was not very comfortable, and my back kind of hurts. But, <sighs> I should go do something. Oh, I got YouTube comments today. I've enjoyed getting comments. I realized I should say something, because I've been trying to make more of an effort to comment on people's videos. Though, that's weird, too. If you haven't noticed by my replies, I am terrible at writing, like, short, succinct. Like, people are able to write to me, like, nice hat. And a smiley face. And that's plenty. And that's plenty for me. But I can't just type that on somebody's. It's just not enough for me. Or they're going to take it wrong. Or something. Not that I take it wrong. I like those comments. Especially when they're from people who, like, I know their tone, I guess. Um, but especially when I'm commenting for the first time on somebody's videos. I don't want my tone to be mistaken. Or I have, like, a story to tell. Or... You know, you watch a video and you suddenly, like, want to have a conversation with the person, not just a, like, three-second little note you write off. So, that, um, that's been fun, though, to get comments. I like getting comments. So, comment to me, because I like it. Or don't. Don't feel pressured. But you could if you wanted. <laughs>